it seems like everybody's main goal is to get like, you know, that contracted, uh, you know, I, I, like I want a contract, I want to be a right. all right, that kind of sure. stuff. I mean, we'd be lying to ourselves if mm -hmm. we said that wasn't the case. So, you know, when you started with WWE, like how did, how did that happen? Did they contact you? Did you do some dark matches? Was it out of the blue? How did that all, you know, happen when you first started with them? Um, I don't really know exactly. I know that I had done um, a dark match. I want to say it was like maybe a uh, maybe a little a year before, maybe a year before when with the Adam I did the rosebud thing. Oh um, yeah, for, okay. for a whole loop, I did the rosebud thing, um, and I did that um, with uh, Jimmy Jacobs. And I believe I, I have, he is <laughs> the most, one of the most brilliant human beings I've ever met in my life. I say I the same thing all the time. Yeah. Legitimately sit down and listen to him talk for yeah. hours. Um, and I believe honestly that I can thank him for um, his input. Cause from what I understand, I think that he talked to Sarah cause he had just gotten hired mm -hmm. with them um, shortly before. And I believe he had talked to Sarah Amato about me um, and brought my name up. And then, you know, not that long after I had my tryout. Um, but I do believe I can accredit Jimmy Jacobs to being able to put in the good word for me so that I could um, go forward with my tryout. Before that, I had, you know, I had started to branch out. I had just gotten back from a tour, a three month tour of Japan. And then I was doing like Shimmer and Shine and, and the bigger women's promotions. Um, so I, I think I had a, a decent buzz going beforehand, but I, I don't know if I had enough of a buzz if it wasn't for Jimmy. So I I have him to thank for that. He's the best. What uh, what, what Japanese company did you tour with? I, I went over for Stardom. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I was there for a little over three months. Um, I was actually, I don't know if you remember, um, I was actually ringside for um, act Yasukawa versus Yoshiko. Do you remember that hitting the news where um, the two girls got into like an actual fight and the girl's eye was really swollen yeah. um, and she had broken her orbital Ooh. bone. I was ringside for that. Oh, geez. I was second. I was second to act. Um, and we were her like, um, and it was probably the one of the most intense experiences of my life. And then shortly after that, um, I, we went from training at the dojo for like five times a week to once. And I was broke as I'll get out. Um, and so I was using all the money I was making over there to pay my bills at home. And so I was just, I kind of hung out in, uh, in the, uh, in the dojo for quite some time during that. So that's probably one of my biggest things is I, I hope one day I can go back and be able to experience Japan in the way that I would have liked to had I been able to afford to get on the subway, you know? <laughs>